Hello everyone, this is Amit. In this video, we'll learn how you can extract or delete a specific set of lines from a large text or log file. We are going to use four different examples to really understand how you can do that very easily. Now, there are a number of ways to do it, but Notepad++ provide a very easy and powerful way using a mark tool uh, that makes this very easy. And so today, in this video, we are going to look at four different examples. Uh, to really understand how you can actually extract a specific set of uh, lines from a text file or how can you remove or delete uh, a, a specific set of lines which contains a certain keyword or a text. And so here is a, a summary of what we are going to look at. We, As I said, we are going to look into four different examples. And so let's get started. So here is the first example. Uh, in this example, we are going to extract or copy a specific set of lines that contains uh, something like this that starts with a square bracket and 2021. And so I have an example called NAPP.log file. So let me open that. Right. And you can see that there are most of the lines uh, that starts with the square bracket and then 2021. So let's go down. Now, if I keep going down, after a while, you can see that there's some other text that I want to ignore. Right. And so in order for us to only copy all the lines that starts with something like this, uh, let's first of all search for that line. So I'll do Control F. Uh, and in this case, we want to select the entire line. And so we will have to use a regular expression. If you aren't aware of regular expression, check out some of the other videos that I have on my channel. Uh, just search for regular expression or just search online. Uh, we are going to use a, some simple regular expression. Uh, so hopefully you will be able to follow along. So let's change our search mode to regular expression. And so in order for us to start right at the beginning, you have to use a command called hat, which is a shift and number six on your keyboard. And that means that basically start searching right at the beginning. All right. So the next part we want to search is this square bracket. Now square bracket has a specific meaning in regular expression. So you will have to sort of ignore or escape that. And so in order to escape, there is a the slash, uh, I think it's forward or backward slash, uh, and then square bracket. So basically, by doing this, we are telling Notepad++ that this is a literal square bracket and not a regular expression uh, square bracket. Okay, And then finally, we'll do 2021 because that's what we want. And so let's just search and see whether it actually works. So if I do fine, you can see it is searching all of those lines that starts with square bracket and 2021. But you can see that it's only selecting that much, right? And we want to select the entire line. And so in order to select the entire line, we need to do dot star. Right. And then at the end, we want to keep searching until we reach at the end of the line. And so the end of the line character is a dollar sign. Right. And so let's see if it actually works. So do control. Uh, yep. You can see that it is actually matching the entire file or it's finding the entire file. So now that we have all our or, or we have the lines that actually matches what we want to do instead of fine, let's just change it to mark right here. Uh, and then make sure that you check this box called bookmark line. Uh, this is the option so you can keep it on or not. And just go ahead and click mark all. So what this feature do is it's going to mark every single line uh, that matches this, this search uh, and you will see immediately. So I'll do mark all. And you can see it is actually able to mark all the lines with this uh, sort of red orange color. And also, it also added a bookmark right at the beginning, you can see. And so now if I just want to copy this entire block, all I have to do is right here, copy marked text. Okay. So if I copy this, let's open a new file. And if I paste it, you can see the original file had about 36,000 lines. So we extracted everything that starts with this, and you can see it is much smaller than 36,000. And so this is how you actually extract uh, or copy a particular set of lines from your existing large file. All right. So let's go back to our example. All right. So we finished this. So let's take a look at this example. So let's say you have, again, a, a large log file or a text file, and you would like to remove particular lines that, that has a specific keyword or text. Right. So here is I here I have example, uh, uninstall.log. And let's say I would like to remove all the lines that begins with DLL. Okay. So let me open that file again. Uh, by the way, once we are done with the first step, we can actually go ahead and clear this. 
and so clear all marks and so that will clear all these and so on so right so let's go to uninstall log and even though this is not a, as long file as as the other one uh, but let's say i just want to remove anything that starts with dll right so let's do control f again and then we'll do again hat sign which is a shift and six uh, that means that starts with dll oops uppercase and then uh, for the lack of any other need, I can do just dot star to, to basically tell Notepad Plus pick entire line and then ends with dollar sign, which means that go all the way till the end. And so let's check. And you can see it is finding those two, right? So again, I'll go to mark and I'm going to basically click mark all, right? So now it, it's, it marked and it also added a bookmark because we had this checkbox bookmark the line. So now that I have those two lines, now, again, imagine that you have not just 80 plus line, but 80,000 lines. So you can't just manually delete these lines. Uh, and so in order to delete all these marked lines in one shot, you need to go to search, go to bookmark. And right here, it says remove bookmark lines. And so when I click on this, it will delete these two lines, right? And so it, it is able to actually remove uh, whatever uh, criteria we had and it just removed completely right let's say we'll do one more example let's say i want to delete all the lines that ends with dot dll okay so it will be a little di little different so i'll do because for us in order to get anything that ends with dot dll we don't care about what is in front so i'm going to do dot star which means that find anything that starts with any character but it should end with dll and it should also end with dot dll now dot again is a, a specific has a specific meaning in regular expression so if we want a literal dot or, or or this full stop or whatever we call it then we need to escape it and again it's a slash dot dll and then this is usually at the end so we will do a dollar sign okay so let's check we'll go to find and then we'll just randomly check some you can see it's always picking only the one that ends with dll and so now that we have done a, our test we go to mark and then we'll do mark all, right? Make sure that bookmark is checked. And you can see all these cases where the .dll is uh, the file, right? And so if I want to remove all of them, all I have to do is go to search, go to bookmarks, and then I say remove bookmark lines. And you can see all those files that ends with dll are removed from this file, right? So that is, again, a pretty cool way to just, you know, extract or specific lines uh, from a large set of lines in your file. Let's take another example. So in this case, it's we want to do the opposite. Uh, we want to remove line that does not contain a specific test or keyword. So for example, let's say I have a setup.log file, which is right here. And let's say I would like to remove everything that does not contain install. Okay. So let me give you an example right here. Uh, so this is basically a, just a log file from Sigwin. And I let's say I want to just keep everything install or everything that is not installed, I want to remove, right? And so there are multiple ways you can do it. Uh, we can search for this install. Uh, and I'll just, for the for the safety, I would also search for install space because install can be installation and we don't want to pick those, right? And so let's do control F. And again, I start with anything and then space, install, space, and then star, uh, dot star, and, and I mean, again, I'm, I'm using some of the regular expression. You check out uh, uh, some of the basic help uh, online and you should be able to figure this out. But what I'm saying here is begin uh, with any character, but then have space, install space, and then any character after that, any number of characters after that, and then ends with dollar sign. And so let's go to find and let's search. And you can see it is, if I put my marker here, you can see it is only picking the install, right? So I'll go to mark. Again, I'm going to mark all. So it picked all the, the things that I wanted to keep, but the rest I want to delete. So we will do, just do the opposite. We'll go to search, we'll go to bookmark, and we'll just say remove unmarked lines. So everything that is not marked, which means everything that is not have this bookmarks, just remove those. So I'm going to do remove unmarked line. And look at that. You are able to delete everything else except the one that contains space, install space. So once you are done with the, the, the this particular step, you can clear your bookmarks 
and it'll just go back to however it was and let's save this okay let's take one more example just to drive the point home and i think by now you should have a pretty good understanding but let's do one more example so let's say in this case we want to keep a particular line set of lines uh, with a specific text okay and so here is an, another good example i have a, a, a let's say error log file which contains you know tons and tons of lines and i just want to keep only lines that contains error right so let's go back go to uh, this file which is a software just some kind of a software logging uh, log file and it has you know info it has error warnings and what i want to do is i just want to keep only the error logs or error lines everything else i want to remove so again i can search for error but i, I might actually search for this double colon error double colon just to be on a safer side right so let's do control f it actually if you select that and press control f it automatically brings that in also and so I'll do as I did before hat star sorry dot star and then dot star and uh, dollar sign so basically any line that contains this double colon error double colon so let's check uh, checking is an important part of uh, you know this kind of a mass manipulation because if you don't do it right you know you might end up deleting or removing some stuff that you didn't intend to and so make sure that you do your check well before you apply it to the entire file so here i'm going to do file and you can see it's only picking the one that contains error right you can see here it should skip some of the other ones and so on so if we want to keep only this we'll go to mark we'll do mark all and then we'll go to search bookmark and then we will say uh, remove unmark lines right basically we want to keep everything that is bookmarked so click remove and now let's just clear this and you can see all the all it kept was something that contained this error and so we learned four different method or four different example on how you can actually use this really cool feature called mark and bookmark the lines uh, to remove a specific set of lines or specific lines that contain some kind of a keyword uh, quickly in just a one shot so i hope you liked this video if you did please click on the like button and uh, just check out my channel uh, if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel and please add a comment. And if you have a question or if you tried this and if it didn't work, feel free to just message me and I would be happy to answer or help you. All right. So thank you very much. Bye.